In this video, we're going to go over the checkbox. Now, the checkbox is similar to what we did in the last video, the radio button. The only difference is you get to select multiple boxes at the same time. Now, you'll remember in the last video with the radio button, we only get to select one option. So that's the big difference between checkboxes and radio buttons. So we're using the input element tag again. We're setting the type to checkbox. We're not going to worry about name because, once again, that has to do with the server side code, which we'll deal with in future videos. Once again, we don't have to close out the input element tag, so we can put the label right after this angle bracket. So the four options we're going to allow the user to select are football, basketball, baseball, and hockey. So let's go ahead and refresh this, and you can see we've got our four options here. And notice we can select whatever we want. So once again, this is very different than the radio button. Now, what if you want to force one of these options to always be selected? Well, we can use the checked attribute. So let's say we want football to always be selected. So we come in here and we type in checked, that's the attribute, equals, and we'll just say checked again. And let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh this. And now you see this is automatically selected. Now the user can deselect this if they want, but the first time the page loads, it will be automatically selected. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. See you guys in the next video.